Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.com and today I am going to teach you uh, how to use session based authentication in uh, ESP.NET Core projects and lot of, lots of users actually don't want to uh, use identity in, uh, in our project because you know identity is provided by the Microsoft, it's more secure you know but, but uh, the, uh, most of the users uh, don't want to use so how to use session based authentication in ASP.NET Core and also you can use claims and roles in your application with uh, on the basis of the session. So the best approach you can do like that is simple. So here we have a login and uh, just add a admin information like that. And here we have a role features of your admin and here we go. So the user will be logged in like that admin and log out. So there we go. Now how to implement the logged in feature with the claims in ESP.NET Core. So let's start it. Before going to uh, go for the details of uh, authentication, just I want to tell you about my membership. I provide a membership to you uh, just only 800 rupees for the Indian users and uh, $15 for the other countries. Okay, so uh, what should I uh, give in this membership actually? Uh, I I want to give you uh, basic, I mean to say that uh, zero to hero tutorials or you can say the basic to advanced video tutorial on .NET Core first, first of all. I will uh, give you video tutorials, complete source code and the resource material that uh, that I have used in this uh, project like uh, PDF files, document files and the images. So uh, just I will give you complete source code, video tutorials and and the documents. So complete, you know, uh, it's a complete guide about the .NET Core. So you can say that a beginning to advanced video tutorial and also uh, just I have a project based tutorial, it's not a normal tutorial you can say, it's a project based tutorial. So the same price, I mean to say that only 800 rupees or $15 just pay for single time at once only and you get .NET Core tutorials, Dapper, REST API, Angular, Entity Framework Core, MS Test Unit, Blazor, HTML, jQuery, CSS, SQL Server and the React. So it's a full package and you get only 800 rupees that all core tutorials get only 800 rupees or dollar 15. It's a cheapest price for you to get all the course material that is Z, uh, you can say beginning to advanced video tutorial on the project basis tutorial you get in only dollar 15. So hurry up guys and uh, what do for this that is to if you want to join this membership just go for the description box where you find a google form and fill the form and your membership start now so fill this form uh, your name your email id your contact number transaction reference id that is order id or the paypal id and uh, now if you are uh, belong to uh, an india just pay 800 rupees on this UPI ID and uh, if you uh, belong to other country then you can use PayPal that is PayPal ID that is there that is the PayPal ID uh, Narin Kumar 851 at gmail.com just pay dollar uh, 15 and get unlimited courses uh, membership so hurry up guys so if you want to implement um, you know uh, session based authentication in your system then you can use a login view model that is the where you have a username and the password so just check the model state and the login view model we have a account service dot login uh, just account service it's a service where logged in uh, just check the logged in information about the user so vm is not uh, null uh, if it is vm is not null then session object uh, is serialized your object just a uh, session uh, session serializes dot serialize vm HTTP context session and set a string login detail that is the login detail uh, session object here we have a session object so that all models are actually converted into the uh, session format and store as a login detail in the session format 
So after that, you can use claims where we have a claim that is username that stored in the claim type that is name and the claims identity. So the, what is the claims identity is here? That is the authentication scheme. Uh, that is the cookie authentication scheme just I used here. And after that, you can use HTTP context sign in async. Uh, so HTTP context is used to sign in the user. So sign in async cookie authentication default dot authentication scheme. Claims principle is what? That is the claims principle use claims identity where we have a claims. So you can say it's a login based authentication system and that all code actually have in membership. So just if you are, uh, if you are joining the membership, then you will get the complete code. And in this code, you can just learn a .NET code uh, beginning to advance. So here we have a uh, web API tutorials, web tutorials, repository based tutorials. And here we have a project that is concert booking system. And here we have a clean architecture based project. And also here we have a blazer project that is bookshop. So um, that is not enough. Just I will provide you Angular tutorials, React based tutorials, as well as testing units and all just $1.15. So hurry up guys and uh, you can take a step ahead so here we have a claim based authentication system and the session based authentication system and if you want to log in uh, via the law roles just you can choose redirect to user and just check the roles vm.roles and enum.roles that is admin just redirect to the index with the help of users okay so how to check that index and users on the session authorizations that is also available that is a session authorization. So here we have a user and you can see here we have a role authorization that is one and what is the one is here that is the filter. So I used filter at here and I will give you a complete video tutorial in membership. So if you want to join this membership you will get all the codes because uh, and the learning process, how to uh, design the system uh, well, and uh, you know, that's perfect for you. So just join the membership and get the complete code day by day.